my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I have a pretty exciting and also very highly requested video. If you have seen my clean with me um, and the mini house tour video that I put up, I will also have it linked above right here. Um, if you've seen that video, I mentioned that I make majority of the cleaning products that I use when I do clean my house. So I definitely wanted to make sure I got that video, the video up for you guys. Also, this is in collaboration with a very old friend of mine. I have probably known him his entire life. <laughs> I am older than he is. Um, me and his older brother were classmates. So he's a few years younger than I am. And um, we grew up together. So I used to go to church with him. Um, and he has a YouTube channel. And that is called Shawnee Boy. Uh, his name is Sean. Uh, like I said, I've known him forever. He's really funny. He's really cool, um, especially if you've known him for quite some time. So we collaborated on this, and in his video, he's going to be showing you, uh, I think it's just bathroom-related cleaning products. Mine are going to be, I'm making an all-purpose, so you can use it in any room that you see fit. I'm also making a granite cleaner, because on granite, you know, you can't necessarily use everything. It'll start to mess with the surface and you know how that goes. So you don't want to mess that up because granite is expensive. So um, I'm making three different things, the all purpose, the granite cleaner, and also a DIY Febreze or like a fabric refresher for your rooms. So definitely go check him out if you are coming from Sean's channel. Hi, I hope you love this video and if you haven't already, please subscribe. So you guys, like always, hit that like button. If you haven't, please subscribe and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day, guys. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, our first one's going to be the all-purpose cleaner and for this you're going to need one cup of vinegar, one cup of water, one large squirt of dish soap, and 10 to 15 drops of the essential oil of your choice. So to get started, we're just going to measure out our vinegar. Using my funnel, we're just going to pour the vinegar inside of the bottle. Now we're going to measure our water and that is one cup. For my dish soap, I decided to go with the gain, and I'm just going to give you a demonstration on how big of a squirt I mean when I say large squirt. I decided to go with half and half. I'm going to do half lavender, so I'm going to do about five to seven drops of lavender, and then I'm also going to do about five to seven drops of peppermint oil as well. I really like these two together. These are probably my top two favorite essential oils. Now it's on to the granite cleaner and for this you're going to need one and a half cups of water, a fourth of a cup of rubbing alcohol, five to six drops of dish soap, and 10 to 15 drops of essential oil of your choice. Now to start off we're just going to measure out our water, get that in through the funnel and just pretty much follow the same process as before. Now I'm adding in the fourth of a cup of the rubbing alcohol. This is the difference in the two cleaners because the vinegar will eat away at the granite so you definitely want to make sure you're using alcohol instead of vinegar. Now when it comes to the kitchen, my favorite scent that I like to clean with is definitely orange. So that was a no brainer when it came to picking the essential oil for this mixture. Now last but not least is the DIY room refresher and for this you'll need a fourth of a cup of fabric softener, one tablespoon of baking soda and two cups of hot water. Now I like to do this in this order because I feel like this really gets all of the ingredients mixed very well. So I go in first with the baking soda, next I follow up with the fabric softener and for this I chose downy. And then following the fabric softener I like to go back in with the water just to mix it all up very well. 